Hey everyone, so you know this is a two-part video. If you have not seen part one, click the card now. Otherwise, continue watching. Welcome to Hotline Sawani. We just had a little, you know, conversation about some, you know, first-party Nintendo characters. Yeah. So let, let's go beyond that, you know, the third party. Which other characters would you like to be in the game? Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to kind of go back to my original video with this, and I am very passionate about this particular franchise, but either Kiru or Majima from the Yakuza series. Goro Majima fights like a mad dog. Um, now, given the fact that Yakuza is a very, <laughs> very violent title, I don't know if Nintendo is going to shy away from that. But then again, you know, if they're going to put, you know, Solid Snake, which I believe most of Metal Gear Solid games are rated M for Mature, yep. I don't see why not. And, uh, and plus, having more Sega representation would be a good step. And plus, Yakuza is on fire right now. Like, Yakuza is one of those type of games where I think Sega was really shocked at how well it did in the West. So just having that inclusion of one of those characters in the game would definitely bring more faces and more people to that particular franchise. Um, now, how likely that is? <laughs> but uh, I would love to see <laughs> Kiryu Majima. On my end, I, I'm actually curious to see some other characters get in from other companies too, in terms of um, like Microsoft representation. Yes. Um, my, on my list, I, I one of the characters I think would, would be crazy to be seen in uh, Super Smash Bros. would be the Master Chief. Master Chief finishes the fights. Uh, just because. It's just another character who's been kind of dormant for a while, mm -hmm. who, you know, Halo was was blown up. I remember that time when, you know, uh, when I was a kid and, you know, I got an Xbox to play Halo and it, it was exploding and the, uh, everybody was, was all over it. Um, and it was one of those franchises that, you know, even I thought I was like, wow, this is something that's like not going to go away at the time. You know, now you don't hear from it as much anymore. And, you know, that inclusion to me would be like, like shattering too. like everyone would be like, you know, what, you know, hey, like Master Chief is in this game, too, in terms of, you know, representation from different companies, you know, Sega, Sonic, Nintendo, Mario, mm -hmm. Mega Man, Capcom. Master Chief to me was Microsoft and Xbox and all. And even though Microsoft owns Rare, yeah. I, I don't know if it's an exact representation over uh, just in my opinion. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree. And the thing about Banjo is they pretty much inherited that from the N64 so lineup with Rare. It, it kind of came as a package deal. So I don't really consider Banjo a Microsoft piece, even though legally they are. But when you think of Xbox as a brand, when you think of, you know, Microsoft, you know, one of the first things that comes to mind is Master Chief. I mean, the official color for Xbox is green. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> it only makes sense if we want a Microsoft represent, you know, character to represent that brand and that company. Master Chief would be it. Like, I can't really think of anyone who represents Xbox more than Master Chief. I mean, yeah, you have, you know, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Yeah, you have, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. <laughs> you know, not, not necessarily representing Microsoft, but a character that, you know, they have rights to now is, is Steve from Minecraft. Oh, you're right. They did buy out um, that company. I forgot about that. So, yeah, I, that. Uh... I know Steve has been, you know, really, really wanted um, for a, a long time. I'm not, Ooh. I'm not super keen on it, but it's kind of one of those things that we said before, where you know, you, you're mentioning that you weren't a big uh, Final Fantasy fan in our last video. Right. But the inclusion of Cloud, like we we get it. It's a big deal. I kind of feel the same way with. Uh, Minecraft and Steve in that sense. Steve masters his craft.
Yeah, Minecraft is huge. Like when I uh, when I stream on Switch, and usually on Switch I have a much younger demographic. Like usually the kids in there are like you know 13, 14, or whatever. And you know one of the games that I constantly see going on going on in a ch you know a chat is Minecraft. Like they just love Minecraft. Like Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. You got to see the thing on Minecraft. I'm like. You know, for me, Minecraft is a little out of my demographic. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, same, same, here, same here for sure. But I, I will never take away the significance that Minecraft has. And, you know, the level of merchandising for Minecraft, the level of visibility that franchise has is just unreal. I mean, that that franchise prints money even today. So it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> now, kind of bouncing off what well, you know, since we're on the topic, You know, this is a bit of a wild card option, but maybe Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fur Day just to complete that rare N64 representation. Conquer reloads fur battle. Because I'm not the biggest Banjo Kazooie fan, but it's the complete opposite with Conquer's Bad Fur Day. So if they can somehow squeeze out <laughs> a little bit more out of Microsoft and get Conquer on top of, you know, Master Chief and maybe Steve from Minecraft, I think that'll just be it for Microsoft in turn, like entirely. Yeah, no, Con I, I I love Conquer. I think and you're right. Like Banjo, you have Banjo Kazooie, and then if if you wanted to put the like the opposite end of the spectrum, it would be Conquer. You know? Yeah. Um, and it's just like a fun, quirky character that is just like super out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and plus Conquer doesn't really have a lot of representation nowadays. You know, now with, uh, you know, Microsoft is not really doing anything with the IP. So, you know, I think that would be a good way to kind of put Conquer back in the eyes of the public and just kind of say, hey, we, we're still acknowledging this character exists. Is there anyone else, I guess, off the top of your head? And maybe we'll go, you know, more for, you could either go for it reaching out to another third party or building off of a current franchise that's in the game that only has one character um who would it be as far as third party i uh, just kind of going back to my original list i would say you know for the past couple dlcs or fighter passes they've been including fighting game characters from fighting franchises so so far we have street fighter and we have uh final fight with terry I think uh, if they were to include another franchise, it would be Darkstalkers and put Morgan from Darkstalkers in. Morgan shows her dark side. You know, I think Morgan, when you look at, you know, the whole lineup of, you know, that character roster, Morgan immediately sticks out. She's the most cosplayed, she's the most popular, you see her in different types of media. So I think Morgan will probably be my kind of off the wall third party pick if they're going to include any more Capcom representation or any fighting game representation. Yeah, no, definitely. I I, I think what one thing that's kind of neat that I do like that uh, Smash Bros does with some of these fighters that come from other fighting games is they include like their their movement combos or their combo moves from the original game so that would kind yeah. of be interesting to see how they implement that over like oh, you know yeah. for instance like if i wanted to do the hadoken i could just click the simple special button or i can actually input the combo from street fighter and it, it's stronger so I, I actually think that's such a cool concept and yeah absolutely you definitely should implement more uh, characters from other fighting games it would be really neat yeah yeah and you know actually with the you no know, final fight um stage they have now it's actually my favorite stage in, in smash ultimate period because you can't fly off the stage it's pure you know purely have to hit somebody hard enough to break the glass and they go flying through and it's just so satisfying yeah no it's a, it's, it's a super cool level i i, I like it a lot and it's, it's just Every character that comes, it just you know, it's some sort of innovation out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, if it, if it was me, if I would have to build off of any you know character now. I know I already said Eggman um, from the Sonic franchise, but I I also want to see more representation on sidekick-based characters as well, because um, from my perspective. I only really, you know, Luigi is like, you know, the main, like Mario and Luigi. Um, I've always wanted to see Tails get implemented mm. in Smash Bros. in some way, shape, or form. Tails flies into battle. I think, you know, Luigi and Tails are like the biggest video game sidekicks um, that I can think of. So I think that would be kind of neat. Kind of similar to Eggman in the sense of, you know, 
having a character that is like an inventor, you know, um, a scientist, if that's not really represented in Smash Bros. Um, I would really like to see Zero, uh, if, if Mega Man, kind of just a, like a, another counterpart to Mega Man. Um, you know, Mega Man was always, you know, the the clean cut hero. Zero to me was a lot more edgier. Uh, right, so right. I like Meg- I always like Zero in that sense. Um, yeah, I think with Zero though, it's it's probably not like because they they already have him as like a Wii costume. So I don't think that they they might double dip. Who knows? Like you say, anything is kind of possible at this point. Who knows? They might just say, "Yo, we're gonna give you Zero. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I think you know, just kind of playing off your Mega Man thing there. I I would like to see base instead of Zero personally. Um, z- to me, base is like the dark Mega Man, and it, it looks like in Smash they have classic Mega Man now, so I don't know if they're going to dip into the X series at all with Zero, but if they were to stick to the classic and had to pick like a villain, I would say either Proto Man or base, more so with base, because I just love his moveset so much. Which characters have you seen, you know, just, just from other people, just other popular requests from my end other than sora because i i see sora constantly blowing up in my comments it's sora and steve and you know we already spoke about them and then two characters that i i didn't you know think about but i've actually looked into just because i'm curious you know uh, why people want them so much is a uh, shante uh the genie and the uh, doom guy shante belly dancers into battle um, I've, I've, I've never heard of it before, but I know I from, you know, what I've looked into and, you know, just some friends that I uh, played it before, they kind of explain it to me almost as like a Mega Man and Mario hybrid. Yeah. My, my brother, who was talking to me about it, even kind of made a point that every character, with the exception of Banjo in Smash Bros. is Japanese. So that's another, mm-hmm. you know, American character <laughs> to get into the game. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, in defense of Shantae, I, I can kind of understand that because as a fan of Shantae, I've played Half Genie, um, Half Genie Hero, played the Risky's Revenge. Um, I, I'm a fan of the franchise, and I think when you play in, just to kind of address that, Shantae is more like a Metroidvania. It's kind of like you, they throw you into this world, you kind of got to find your way. You know, it's, it's, it's like a light Metroidvania, but um, more so with like Risky's Revenge and games like that. But I think with Shantae's moveset, the, the possibilities are endless because she has this power where she can transform into different animals, whether it's a monkey to climb a wall or she can turn into an elephant to crush things. So I think, and when I look at, when I look at characters for Smash, I kind of look at it like as a portrait, right? Just like how they have like the full portrait of all the Smash characters. I look and see, okay, the design of this character, does it fit with the already existing roster? And I think Shantae, out of all the ones that you mentioned, she looks the most Nintendo-like. Like, if you if you were to put Shantae next to Mario, put Shantae next to, you know, Link or something like that, it would fit. So I, 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 I think if they wanted some indie representation, I think Shantae or Shovel Knight would be the obvious choices for sure. Now, what about Doom Guy? How do you, how do you feel about Doom Guy? Uh... Doom Guy fights like hell. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Doom. I, I, I own the the first reboot they did. I think what was it came out like a couple of years ago, but I I own that game. And it's just I just don't think it's a good fit. I mean, even Master Chief is a bit of a head scratcher, but Doom Guy, I I don't think it's likely. Yeah, it's it, it was interesting to me because I at first I I think that the whole Doom Guy champion and and if I'm wrong, you know, correct me in the comments below. Um, kind of started with the the leak um, that came out, you know, a couple of years ago. That uh, he he would get in the game um, on the fighters pass. It's definitely something that hey, it could happen. Anything could happen. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it is not to take away with the historical significance that Doom has, because from my understanding, again, you know, you guys can feel free to correct me in the comments, but um, Doom, in terms of the first-person shooter, if it wasn't 
there's a lot of debate about this too, but from my understanding, Doom was really the first first person shooter and it kind of revolutionized that whole genre. So I think from a historical significance, if they were to put him in, it would probably be off of that basis just to have that historical piece there. But um, the likelihood of it, like what would his moveset even be? Like it's just, it's just so, and considering that Doom is almost exclusively a first person game, it'll just be weird. <laughs> <laughs> right, you make a good point on the sense that Smash Bros. is a celebration of video games, right? And if, if he gets in, that would probably be the reason, and that would probably be the reason that they would champion that first-person shooters is a big genre in video games, and here's one of the first, or the first, you know, character that revolutionized it, and mm -hmm. he, here he is. But uh, we'll see. So if you like this discussion video and want to hear more between myself and Olympus Gaming, please go check out his channel and watch our Smash retrospective video. If you enjoyed this video, come on over to my channel. We have an additional video there for you guys to enjoy. And it's been a pleasure being on your platform, and I appreciate it. Thanks. And please remember to please like and subscribe, and also subscribe to Olympus Gaming. Thanks, guys. Peace.